Now, it's very common that you want to fight back with toxic, narcissistically abusive people. A slap for a slap, an insult for an insult, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. But this is the wrong answer. In the ancient literature of the Bible, Jesus says this, You have heard it said an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. But I tell you that if a person slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other cheek as well. What does this mean? My name is Kevin, and this is The Royal We. Now, before I get into this message, I want to invite you to check out the description box down below where you can schedule one-on-one -on -one time with me. You will find access to my calendar uh, for various appointment times. Also, you'll find access to Royal We Live Chat and Royal We Fellowship every Saturday morning where we study the ancient literature of the Bible. Follow me on Instagram at join the Royal We. Now then, you have heard it said, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, but I tell you, says Jesus, out of the ancient literature of the Bible, if somebody slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the left also. What was Jesus referring to? This is an important concept to understand as you navigate this world of toxic people and narcissistically abusive people because they really do come at you with insults. They come at you to slap you on the right cheek. Now, it's important to understand what was being referred to, what a slap on the right cheek actually is. Now then, follow me on this. The only way, and you can look this up, for yourself. The only way for someone with a right hand to slap you on the right cheek is to do what's called a backhanded slap. Psh. And if you look up what a backhanded slap is, it is the lowest form of an insult that anybody could receive. It's basically saying, I insult you. I don't even want to hurt you. You are so beneath me. It is used by somebody who feels like they're dominant to backhand slap with the back of the right hand across the right side of the cheek. What Jesus is saying is, man, don't let anybody backhand slap you. You turn to them the other cheek and say, no, 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 no. You want to be a man? You want to be tough? Come on. You got to do better than that. Get me with what you really got. Let's see what you're made of. Come on. Don't insult me. That's, that's little. What is this telling you and me? It's not that we are to approach toxic relationships and narcissists saying, mm, thank you, sir. May I have another? You insulted me. Okay, insult me again. No, no, no. We are to have an attitude that says, is that all you got? I'll take your best shot, man. Is that all you got? That little backhanded slap? No, no, no. If you want to hit me with something, you better hit me with something because I am better than that. I am so much better than that. It's not about taking revenge. It's not about getting a backhanded slap and then giving a backhanded slap. It's about showcasing that you truly are better. And now narcissists have a problem with this. They're going to attack you and say, you're no better than me. You're judgmental. You're selfish. Blah, 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 blah. And what you're going to have to do, according to what Jesus is saying, is, is that all you got? Are those silly accusations all you've got? Surely you've got to have something better than that. That doesn't hurt me. I'm reminded of a song from a, a band called P.O.D. back in the day. One of the lines in one of their songs was, Is that all you got? I'll take your best shot. Is that all you got? I'll take your best shot. We are to be superior than narcissists. We are to be above their insults. We are to look at their insults as being so little and so insignificant at some point that we don't want to attack back. We want to be able to say, Is that all you got? And now watch this. It also doesn't mean that we stay and we play. We say, is that all you got? In, another, in other words, we're saying, that doesn't phase me. That doesn't hurt me. This can only happen, by the way, when you come back in tune with who you really are. And then you're able to walk away. You say, that's all you got? You're right-handed, you're backhanded slap trying to insult me? No, no, no. You better have something better than that to try and stop me or tear me down. You better have something better than that. And then you walk away. And now, this is also important to understand, walking away from narcissistically abusive people. Because really the only way to ever 
get back and get revenge on a narcissist is to, in fact, walk away. That's it. Imagine a narcissist thinking that he can insult you, dominate you, backhand you, and then suddenly you're gone. You're not hurt. You're not phased. You're just gone. You're out of their life. They have no one to play with anymore. They're done. That is the most painful thing to them. When I oftentimes wonder with the narcissist that I've dealt with, because I can oftentimes wonder, did man, did I did I did I do enough to show them that I'm stronger? And I have to remind myself, I walked away suddenly without giving them any warning. No more contact, nothing. I think that's probably very insulting to them, right? So listen, you do not have to stay and play with narcissists. But when they attack you, when they verbally assault you, it's not about assaulting them or insulting them back. It's about being able to be big enough to say, is that all you got? Really? That's it? Once we get into this mindset of realizing, no, 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 they're small. They're insignificant. Narcissists are insignificant. Doesn't matter if they're your parents. Doesn't matter if they're your siblings, ex-boyfriends, ex-spouse. I want you to start looking at them as insignificant. Their attacks on you are so insignificant that you want to start saying to yourself, is that all they got? Is that it? And then just, but don't play. Don't play. Walk away. That's what it means to be better. That's what it means to turn the other cheek. Right? Listen, I want to be part of your healing journey. Down below, you can find access to one-on-one -on -one appointments with me. Uh, my calendar is uh, is directly down below. You can click on that link. We could have a telephone appointment, FaceTime, or WhatsApp video appointment, or text message appointment. It's up to you. In addition to that, you'll find access to Royal We Fellowship down below and also access to Monday Night Live chat. It's all down below. Follow me on Instagram at Join the Royal We, and I'll be back with more videos for you right here on the Royal We.